I'm Vicki Rashan, and I'm the CEO of Ribon Therapeutics. And our goal at Ribon is to develop novel therapeutics for cancer uh, patients. And the last 10 years of my career has been enormous in developing new therapies. And despite this pro progress, we still don't have enough therapies for patients. And so right now, if a patient comes in, you can understand all of the alterations in their tumors, but only in, in about 20% of those patients do we have targets, targeted therapies that are specific for those patients. So we really need new therapies for those patients, and that's what our focus is. And we decided to focus on a family of proteins that's been underexplored for cancer, and that's the mono ADP ribosyl transferases, or monoparps as we call them. And so this family of 12 proteins plays a very important role in responding to stresses in cells, and cancer cells need to overcome multiple stresses in order to survive. So the monoparps are playing a role in enabling the cancer cells to survive. And so by creating inhibitors against those monoparps, we're creating new approaches by blocking those cancer cells' ability to survive that stress. And so the talk I gave today focused on a particular monoparp, that's PARP7. And PARP7 is activated by many cancer-relevant stresses, most namely um, to the aryl hydrocarbons and tobacco smoke. And so when PARP7 is activated or increased its expression to very high levels in cigarette smoking related cancers such as squamous cell carcinoma of the lung, it enables those cancer cells to evade the immune system. We've now shown that inhibitors that we've made against PARP7 block tumor growth in animal models, pre, in preclinical animal models, and that we see very distinct and durable tumor regressions in those animal models. And we're looking forward to translating these studies into patients um, and by the development of um, uh, PARP7 inhibitors as new therapeutics.